today we are going to be looking at uh, the authority that God has given us as believers. Uh, the Bible says that, then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, let them have, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So we see very clearly here that God made the rest of creation subservient to man. But we all know what happened in Genesis chapter 3. We read about the fall where uh, the serpent cunningly and craftily came to Eve uh, and said, did God really say? Adam gave in to the temptation. Eve gave in to the temptation. They sinned against God. And uh, this gave permission for the devil to interfere with our dominion. But thank God. Thank God that God did not let it be as it was. And, and God chose to find a solution to this problem of sin. What else um, happened after that? We thank God because God being a loving and merciful God uh, sent his own son, his own son Jesus to redeem us. So God restored our position to rule and reign once again. Okay, so the position we have now, we look at what, what sort of a position this is uh, that we have now. We have dominion over sin. So what position has God really given us? Now, in these verses, we, we read that God has positioned us. He has made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. What does it mean? What does it really mean? Where Jesus is seated, no, it's a place of authority. So God has positioned us for dominion. And today we look at three things that, that we can exercise our dominion over. The first um, aspect is that we have dominion over demons. We have authority over the works of darkness. And always remember, always remember that anything, anything at all which we discern as the work of the devil, we have authority over and we should exercise that authority right so we can use our capacity we can use our capacity against uh, demons and demonic forces uh, uh, because God has already won the victory for us in Christ Jesus we have dominion over the world you know, what kind of uh, influence comes from the world the things of the world which are the lust of the flesh uh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life Right? But we as believers, we have been set free. We, we have freedom in Jesus. We have also been given authority. Right? And as God's children, one thing that we need to know is that we don't have to succumb under pressure. We are overcomers. And the third area where we have dominion is over circumstances. When storms hit us, how do we respond? We as believers, as children of God, we have dominion over our circumstances. 1 John chapter 5 verse 4. This is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. No matter what has happened, right? have faith in God. If we have faith as, as small as a mustard seed, we can command, we can speak to things. We can speak to our circumstance. And God's word promises us that even circumstances, situations that we encounter will change. God originally created us to rule and reign over all of creation, over our circumstances, to be victorious and as believers, now we have been repositioned to that place of dominion.